on CBS. We've got it all together. We've got it all together this fall with the Mary Tyler Moore Show. It's all together with Mary Tyler Moore, Saturday, September 19th on CBS. McLeod. Doesn't look like the hero type, but get to know him. McLeod. A deputy from New Mexico. Very much at home on the range. Too bad it's 2,000 miles away. Assigned to the New York police, he's doing his western thing deep in the heart of Manhattan. Dennis Weaver is McLeod. Part one of NBC's new program idea, four in one. It's different, like McLeod. million dollar man, an incredible merging of man and machine. Well, how fast can you run? A bit 60. This man has two bionic legs, one bionic arm, and a bionic eye. All atomic power. How much did you cost? Six million. Lee Majors is the six million dollar man. San Francisco, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Lieutenant Mike Stone wants to keep it that way. Move it. I'm just talking about my partner, a guy I know better than anybody. You just ride her on the street, and don't anybody worry about how much I can take. The streets of San Francisco. Park in some communities on suburban Long Island and in Westchester County have also been without power. The blackout is believed to have been caused by a major electrical storm moving north of the city. Light Tuesday. I've known the man a long time. I love him. Hutch faces the toughest bust of his life. I don't bet my badge on a cop. The cop who taught him everything sells out and helps the mob waste a witness. Blew right through the third floor window. Hutch has got to bring him in. Tuesday. Wednesday on 8 is Enough, the kids are all alone. When the mysterious stranger arrives out of the storm. Phone's dead. And Charlie's Angels disco the night away. But it ends up a dance of death. Then Dan rides with outlaw bikers. Chase down a gang of motorcycle killers on Vegas. Watch Wednesday on ABC. It's premiere time on ABC. Tuesday, see the experienced pro fly the Grand Canyon on the world's most spectacular stuntman. Then, on the season premiere of Three's Company, Jax Harum is overrunning the apartment, and he's trying to keep it a secret. Janet and Chrissy would kill me. It's more girls than even he can handle. Ready for dessert? And more trouble than he ever bargained for, followed by the Carter-Reagan debate. Tuesday. Mickey Gillies going to sing at Boots, and Catherine Bach from the Dukes of Hazard is going to sing and dance for the first time on TV. So y'all come back. This here show will continue in just a moment. Monday on That's Incredible, meet daredevils who jump off mountains and men who create zombies. Stay tuned for Ricardo Montalban, Buddy Epson, and Fess Parker on the 25th anniversary of the wonderful world of Disney. Here's America's newest senator on labor. Congress is violently opposed to the four-day week. They refuse to come in the extra day. And here he is in Grandpa Goes to Washington. Grandpa? Yeah? Do Eskimos brush their teeth? Grandpa Goes to Washington. Now you've got a real choice on Tuesday nights at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. This is NBC News Digest, sponsored by Sealy Posturepedic. Here is Jessica Savage, NBC News. Good evening. President Reagan has canceled his planned visit to the Philippines. The White House blamed the press of congressional business, but did not deny fear for the president's safety. The Supreme Court today left intact rulings of con constitutional right to own a handgun. 
And now this. Sleep on a Sealy Posturepedia can wake up with a feeling that really shows. What's behind the pep and pizzazz? Sealy. Eastern Airlines says its non-union workers have overwhelmingly accepted a 15% pay cut. And finally, striking Continental Airline pilots say the line will be totally shut down soon. The company says it may hire replacement pilots. I'm Jessica Savage in New York. More news later on this NBC station and on NBC News Overnight.